Hello, so in this video I'll be going over Gauss's law, which is commonly the first Maxwell equation, and I'll be talking about it conceptually and showing how it can be used. So in differential form, Gauss's law is that the divergence of the electric field is equal to the charge density over epsilon naught, the vacuum permittivity of free space. Um, and then the integral form is the surface integral of e dot ds, where e is electric field and ds is part of the surface that you're integrating over. And that is equal to q, the total charge enclosed, divided by epsilon naught. So in this equation, the left-hand side is the flux of the electric field. And as far as how to use Gauss's law, you'll usually see it in integral form. Um, when you're searching for an electric field of some particle or some sh system or shape. So what you want to try to do is to get your vector electric field into something more of a scalar that's constant over the surface that you've chosen, which is the Gaussian surface is commonly referred to as. And the purpose of trying to find a surface where the electric field is um, the same at every point is such that you can pull E out of your surface integral such that you're just integrating over the surface. And that integral comes out to just the area. In more concrete terms, if you look at a charged point um, and then try to find the electric field, you can do so using Gauss's law. So your Gaussian surface that you're going to try to be integrating over is a sphere because the electric field of a point charge will radiate spherically outward um, such that if you choose a sphere as your surface, it's going to be um, symmetrical and the same, or e dot ds is the same at every point along the sphere. And that allows e to be pulled out as a scalar. Um, and then you know the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. And from this you get into the familiar result that the electric field of a point charge is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times q over r squared, where q is the charge of your point charge and r is the distance away from it you are. And here I've put in the n hat, the normal vec unit vector, just to denote that um, the electric field is pointing outwards. You probably might have seen this also using k as 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, but either form is equivalent. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it provided a little more insight into what Gauss's law is and how you can use it. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos please comment below.